Mouse Trouble News fans, you know that perception that Israel is a poor persecuted group of people that everyone's just being a bully against and have done nothing wrong to anyone else and that they're a poor persecuted minority? Yeah, I don't remember that being true either. Well, anyway, uh, the California State Assembly has decided that criticizing Israel is anti-Semitism and is now encouraging educational institutions to follow suit and accuse anyone who criticizes Israel in any way for, th for crimes they actually committed as being anti-Semitic. Here's an example of what now constitutes anti-Semitism. Language or behavior that demonizes and delegitimizes Israel. Speakers, films, and exhibits that indicate that Israel is guilty of heinous crimes against humanity such as ethnic cleansing and genocide. Describing Israel as a racist or apartheid state. Student and faculty sponsor boycotts, divestment, and sanction campaigns against Israel. Denying the Jewish people their right to self-determination. Applying double standards by requiring of Israel a behavior not expected or demanded of any other democratic nation. Actions of student groups that encourage support for terrorist organizations such as Hamas and Hezbollah. So basically now according to the California State Assembly, you can't criticize Israel at all. In fact, you can't actually take any crime that state has actually committed and criticize them for it. Basically, Israel's free to break every damn law that exists, commit every crime that could possibly exist against humanity, and you can't criticize them for it. I think this is absolutely ridiculous. And this would thoroughly debunk the notion that Israel is the victim somehow. You know, the one receiving billions of dollars from the world's superpower and everybody else kissing their ass in order to kiss the U.S.'s ass. Yeah, I'm pretty much just throwing the journalistic analysis right out the window and just going for it because this is goddamn ridiculous. This is just com completely stupid. Language or behavior that demonizes or delegitimizes Israel. Israel is a racist, hate-filled, genocide-causing, religious fundamentalist psycho state. Good. Now lock me up in California. Thumbs. Speakers or exhibits that indicate Israel is guilty of heinous crimes against humanity, such as ethnic cleansing and genocide. Well, I don't have any footage, but you can just take any footage from, the, from Operation Cast Sled, which was basically an outright slaughter of the Palestinian people. Describing Israel as a racist or apartheid state. Israel is a racist and apartheid state. Well, I'm not a member of any educational institution, so I can't do the next one. Denying Jewish people their right to self-determination. They have no right to self-determination in Palestine. No, not in Palestine. They don't have it. If they wanted it, they would have gained more legitimacy by not being a bunch of genocidal psychopaths. And they are. This is about the extermination of the Palestinian people based on what it says in the Torah, a religious text. A religious text should not be regarded as a legitimate source of anything, and which is one of the great hypocrisies of Israel itself. Israel has the greatest population, the greatest percentage of population that professes to being atheist and not believing in any religion, yet the entire idea of Israel is based on what it says in the Jewish holy book, making it not only a genocidal and apartheid state, but a massive hip <laughs> a massive hypocrisy. The state of Israel is one gigantic hypocrisy. And that's true. Go ahead, California. Do something about it. Now, applying a double standard by requiring Israel to a behavior that is not expected or demanded of any other democratic nation. Like not committing genocide against the people there. Just an example. And, uh, okay, more stuff about student groups, but I'm not a student, so this doesn't apply to me. I mean, this is in the realm of complete ridiculousness. This isn't even just an, this isn't a journalistic work anymore. This is just a rant. I mean, this is insane. Israel, who lives with their boot on the neck of the Palestinian people, are supposed to be poor and persecuted and that they're the victims of all of this, while they literally roll through and murder the entire Palestinian population on a daily basis and take more land and more land and more land in violation of how many UN resolutions. I mean, this, 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 this is ridiculous. Do, do, you know, do you know what happens when you do this? You basically just take every anti-Semite, every, every 
every person who thinks everything is a Jewish conspiracy and just hand them everything that they could want to say. That's exactly what you're doing. And that's exactly what this is going to do. This, this in itself is going to promote anti-Semitism. Not that, you know, generally speaking, uh, people who are racist against Jews generally give any bit of a damn against Palestinians. But, I mean, this is, this is just, this is ridiculous. You're literally saying, you're literally taking away the freedom of speech, not even the freedom of speech, the duty, the obligation to criticize a state for doing something illegal. That's exactly what this is. And you can't portray this as absolutely anything else. You literally can't criticize the government of Israel for mass murdering the Palestinian population. I mean, this is absolutely ridiculous. This, uh, th th this, is, this is insane. For people who think that the Jews run America, this is enough for them for that. This is how ridiculously, religiously fundamentalist the United States is. I mean, this almost wouldn't happen anywhere else, but I'm sure this is actually supported by a lot of countries, including my own Canada, and including many countries in Europe as well. This, this is insane. The actual roots of religious fundamentalism in the United States and all the other countries that support it as well run deeper than people actually believe. All of this, the imperialist countries are supporting this because the Palestinians won't do what the imperialist powers want them to. Just sign over their entire country to them and allow them to be ex exploited, and brutalized, occupied, and raped. Which most of that's even happening right now as it is. They're just not being exploited. This, this, th I don't even really know what to say to this. This is just, this is insane. California is effed and the California State Assembly should go directly to hell.